everybody, this is Alice from Community Links and this is my buddy Bebo and we're here to do Sign, Say and Play with you. Uh, each week we have a different topic and this one is meal time. So Baby Signs is American Sign Language based but it's baby friendly so modifications are okay. So if your baby has one that he really likes to do to indicate something, definitely keep that one and go with it. You're already using um, a sign language with your baby, things like hi and bye, you always use those. So that's a form of sign language. Why do we do sign language? Well, it re reduces frustrations in your babies. Babies get to share their worlds. It increases their self-esteem and it creates a bonding moment with you and your baby. It also helps with cognitive, cognitive abilities. This program was created by Dr. Zacretolo and Goodwin in 1982, and they found that kids uh, were using more words and higher, had higher cognitive abilities through the use of sign language. The way we do it. It's really easy. It's the same way you teach your babies hi and bye. Um, it's action with the word. It gives you an opportunity for them to imitate what you're doing through repetition and being simple. So the first song we're going to do today is Sign, Say, and Play. Come on everybody, it's time we're to sign, along. say, and play. Why have we all come today to join in this sign, say, and play? For friendship, games, and simple signs To help us share what's on our minds Now begins our fun today As we all sign, say, and play Let's try it one more time Why have we all come today to join in this sign, say and play, to move away, to stop our tears, and bring us joy and calm our fears. Now begins our fun today, as we all sign, say and play. Next song we're going to do is Looks Who Look Who's Here. We're gonna start with Bebo and we're gonna say hi to Bebo. Where is Bebo? Where is Bebo? Here he is. Here he is. How are you today, Bebo? Bebo's feeling fine. Well, let's sign, say and play. Let's sign, say and play. Where Ones. Where are our little ones? There they are. There they are. How is your little one today? Are they feeling fine? That's great. Let's sign, say, and play. Let's sign, say, and play. So today we're going to talk about meal time, and we have a few signs that we can teach to our little ones. So the way you're going to do it is you're going to do the sign yourself and then you're going to uh, show it to your little one and the more you do it, the more they're likely to do it in the future. So mealtime is a great way to start with them because it's captive audience. They're already sitting in their chairs. They're already ready to listen to you and watch what you're doing because they know they're gonna get something nummy. So our first sign is eat. And you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna say eat, eat.
baby wants to eat some food. Another one that we're going to do is drink. And there's a couple of ways that you can do that. You can make a cup, like you're holding a cup, and say drink, drink. Or you can make a fist with your thumb sticking out and say drink, drink. The next one is more. They always want more. So you're going to make your fingers stick together and you're going to say more, more. Milk is our fourth one that we're going to do. And it's like you're milking a cow. Milk, milk. So cereal is one of the harder ones to do. So we have modified it. And it's just like you're picking up a piece of cereal and we're gonna say cereal, cereal. And of course, when we're eating, we gotta have our nice clothes all covered up. So bib is something that we always need. And this is bib, bib, bib. And you're just gonna point to your chest and say bib. And then when they're all done and all ready to be released, this is all done, all done. Just like you're sweeping off their little table, all done. So our signs were eat, drink, drink with this, or drink with this, more, milk, cereal, bib, and all done. Our next song is going to be It's Meal Time, and it's to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And we're gonna do eat, we're gonna do drink, we're gonna do more, and we're gonna do I'm all done. All done. Ready? Let's all sing the Meal Time song. Eat, eat some food, eat some food, I say. Higgledy, piggledy, bobbledy, boop, it's fun to sign and play. Drink, let's do drink. Drink, 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 drink your juice, drink your juice, I say. Higgledy, piggledy, bobbledy, boop, it's fun to sign and play. Now let's ask for more. More. Ask for more, ask for more, I say. Higgledy, piggledy, bobbledy, boop, it's fun to sign and play. Now we're all done. All done. Done, done, done. I'm all done. I'm all done, I say. Higgledy, piggledy, bobbledy, boop, it's fun to sign and play. So eat. Time, we're also going to talk about different topics of the parent for the parents and one of the things we're going to talk about today is symbolic development through pretend play so pretending is fun it's a great way to connect with our little ones but it's also important for their development because pretending is symbolic one thing rep represents another like when you're having a tea party your little cups with your little pretend juice or tea in them symbolizes the real things that might make a little bit of a mess. So it's a good way to do it um, clean. We can talk about drinking our tea. We can talk about inviting the teddy bears to come and play. So there's lots of ways to make it a language rich experience and show them that, that this means something else. Um, symbols are important. In Lots of important activities depend on symbols like driving. Your red light and your green light mean something each time. The stop sign means stop. Language is a symbol system. Each letter and each um, word is a different sound and it gives them a specific content, concept when they put it together. Reading, the letters stand for specific sounds and they give you a whole story when they're put together. It's a gift for your child. You're supporting your child's development when you play with them. So our next thing is our story. And Bebo's going to help me with the story, I think. Let's see how it works. So this one's called Mealtime. And it's Mealtime Signs. Eat. Eat. Songbird likes to eat. Drink. 
drink. Squiggles takes a drink. More. People and I are going to have trouble with this one. More. Scooter wants more crackers. Milk. Milk. Suki has milk. Cereal. Sunshine eats cereal. Bib. Scooter wears a bib. All done. Suki is all done. And that's the end of the story. We have another song. It's the Please song. And we are going to use bib. We're going to use some milk and some cereal. And this one is to the tune of London Bridge is Falling Down. Now it's time for the Please Give Me song. Let's ask for a bib. Please, Please give me a bib to wear. Bib to wear. Bib to wear. Please give me a bib to wear. My dear mommy. Now let's ask for milk. Please give me some milk to drink. Milk to drink. Milk to drink. Please give me some milk to drink. I'm so thirsty. Let's ask for cereal. cereal. Please give me some cereal to eat. Cereal to eat. Cereal to eat. Please give me some cereal to eat. I'm so hungry. Well, thanks for joining me today. Our last song is going to be It's Time to Go. And we're going to say bye-bye to Bebo. And then we'll say goodbye to everybody after that. Bye-bye, Bebo. It's time to go. But we'll be back real soon for more fun with Sign, Say, and Play. Bye-bye, Bebo. It's time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Bye bye, Bebo. It's time to go. So long, Bebo. Bye bye, everyone. It's time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Bye bye, everyone. It's time to go. So long, everyone. So thanks for joining us this time. This time. Don't forget, there's a few more topics that we go through as well. Things like going to the park and our pets and even getting dressed. So check out our other um, videos that you'd like to see. Uh, don't forget, if you like us, to like us down at the bottom there. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.